In this video, I wanna show you guys how I save a ton of time when I'm cleaning car door jams. Now let's get straight into it. What's going on? So glad you're here and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing Community. If you are a professional auto detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your business or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button right below this video. So again, I'm on location right now at one of my maintenance clients' households and that's very important for the content of this video in that this strategy primarily is used for my maintenance client's vehicle. So I'm detailing this forerunner right now and then um, I also have a Porsche over here that I'm gonna be detailing later once again this is a maintenance client. This is one with healthy disposable income. This is the type of customer that I target, the kind that has the income to spend on keeping their cars you know, in shape, the kind that has a lot of cars, and the kind that values a detailer like myself who brings a certain type of value. So what I wanna show you guys is how I'm gonna address these door jams just real fast before I actually do this. I wanna give you guys a couple more like guidelines for this strategy. First thing I'd like to repeat, just like I said a second ago, this is going to be reserved for vehicles that are more maintenance vehicles. Why do I say that? Well, because maintenance vehicles because I see these cars on a regular basis they're already fairly clean and so just like I would use like a rinseless wash like optimum no rinse on a maintenance clients car on the paint because it's just not that dirty this is going to be like that for the door jams I'm not gonna soak it in degreaser I'm not gonna soak it in soap and hose it down because it's just not necessary number two this is a strategy that's gonna require that you have a steamer because I am gonna be using my VX 5000 steamer in this video if you want to check out a review that I have on that steamer check out the YouTube card that I'm linking up right now. That is uh, basically a full review of exactly the kind of steamer I use. Number three, this is a strategy that sometimes detailers have a hard time getting in their heads because we tend to be so OCD that we want to spend a lot more time in certain areas than we really have to. And so this is one of those strategies where you're going to have to kind of tone down your OCD and say, okay, I'm saving time. I'm getting the same results as I would doing anything else. And uh, this is an area where I have to be kind of fast because once again, I'm trying to get through a lot of maintenance cars and I don't want to spend too much time because I charge a certain less expensive expensive price for details like this because they just don't take quite as long. So here is the strategy. I've got my bucket caddy right here with all of my interior detailing stuff and we're going to focus on this door jam right here. I'm going to show you guys as much as I can but of course I can't really get the lighting perfect so you can see like the inner workings of the door jam but you see even right here there's just no you know large amounts of dust, dirt or anything in this door jam. At most I'm just knocking some dust around and so what I'm going to do is actually I kind of have the option in this case to use a less intense cleaner or a more intense cleaner. I am going to be using super clean diluted 5 to 1 which is a degreaser just because I like using that on door jams. However, I probably could also use Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner diluted 10 to 1 and get the same results just because it's really not that dirty. But I'm going to go ahead and use my super clean. So I take my super clean 5 to 1 and I'm going to be very, very conservative with it because I'm not trying to soak it once again. I'm not trying to drip it all over the garage floor and there's just no need. So this is about all I'm going to spray on this door jam and nothing more. So you guys saw that was very very little. Now next I'm literally just going to take my steamer and agitate the cleaner around with my steamer and at the same time I'm going to have a microfiber towel in there as I'm steaming getting the excess and mopping it up as I go and this is what it looks like. I'm not going to speed this up just so you guys can see it. And that's literally all I'm gonna need to do and I'm gonna take my microfiber towel and just mop up all of the excess. And that is it. I'll try to take you guys in here so you can see the maybe inside, get it to focus a little bit on this door jam. But you guys see, that's all I needed to do, nothing more. I got all those rubber gaskets, I got the painted surfaces. A couple things real fast about this strategy, a couple dangers that I wanna make you guys aware of. Number one and probably most obvious thing that you guys saw is I never held the steamer in one specific area for like an extended period of time. So I'm always moving the steamer up and down. I might hold it in one area for a very short amount of time to really break up a large amount of grease or dirt or grime or something like that. However, other than that, I'm just moving it up and down. I'm not letting it bubble the paint. If you were to hold it on one specific area, it can bubble the clear coat. It can burn through the clear coat, do some damage. So you want to be definitely careful about that. Number two is the one of the reasons that I'm using a conservative amount of super clean and the degreaser is, um, yes, I don't need a lot because this is just not a very dirty job. But number two, because I'm not hosing it off, I don't want to use a ton of degreaser just because when you hose it off, you really dilute it all. And 
and you get it all, you, you, you just get it all out. It's not that I'm not getting all the super clean out, but just in case the, the steamer doesn't really flush the door jam out like a hose would, I don't want an, uh, an excessive amount of degreaser to be almost just like left over in there from any area that I didn't get, just because degreaser can be a little hard on paint if it's left for a large amount of time. And so, yes, I'm using the steamer to just agitate it, but I'm also using the steamer to flush the degreaser out. And again, the reason I'm using a small amount of degreaser is because number one, I don't need a lot. And number two, I don't want to take the chance of leaving any leftover. But this is a great example of a door jam that I've treated for a very long time. And there are clients where I have literally used this strategy for two to three years, been steaming it, degreasing it, and never had any problem three years later with this strategy with their door jam. So it's very tried and true uh, sort of strategy. Now, as with all my videos, if you guys want to check out the steamer that I used or the super clean, I'm going to hook up Amazon links below to both of those products and tools. If the VX5000 steamer that I use in this video is outside of your price range because you're a beginner detailer or you're just getting in the business, it is close to a thousand dollar steamer. So I understand if that's beyond your budget. I'm also going to hook up links to some steamers that are less expensive that I like a lot that give great results for the beginners. So check out those Amazon links below. If you buy any of that stuff through my links in the description box, it does give this channel a very small commission, but it helps this channel stay alive so I can keep giving out awesome content just like this all the time. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hook up all that stuff in the YouTube comments below because I always read those and I'm sure to get back to you guys as fast as I can. And if you are new to the Wilson Auto Detailing community, then definitely consider subscribing because I come out with videos all the time just like this on products, tools, strategies, communication skills, business skills, and so much more, all in an effort to help the pro detailers become more successful and profitable in their businesses. And on this channel, I share the same strategies that turn my business into a full-time income with part-time hours. So if that interests you, definitely subscribe. Once again, thank you guys so much for being involved here. And as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I'll see you guys in the next video.